Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's open up our Bibles and read from the book of Matthew. The Gospel according to the Apostle Matthew. Chapter 15. We we'll read from verse 21 down to 28. The Bible reads, Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon possessed. Amen? Amen? It's interesting to see that this woman has no name, but the Bible places a lot of emphasis on her cultural background. Amen? Amen. The Bible doesn't give us the name. But the, Dave, the, the Bible explains and speaks about where this woman comes from. Verse 23. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away. For she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Her daughter was healed from that very hour Amen. In the book of Mark, Mark brings more details saying that when Jesus departed to this region, he went into a house and he wanted no one to know about him about where he was and that he was hidden in a house. So that detail is in the book of Mark. But Mark says that although he was trying to hide himself, but he couldn't keep his presence sacred. <laughs> he, could hide, he couldn't hide himself. That's an extra detail reading from the Gospel according to the Apostle Mark. Amen. 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 Let's pray for the reading of the Word of God. Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We always believe in your Word, O oh Lord Almighty God. You've promised that whenever we gather in your name, you'll be present. And we stand here, Lord Almighty God, for you. And this time again, we ask more of you, more of the anointing from the Holy Spirit. Anoint your word. Anoint me. Anoint this time, oh Lord Almighty God. We subject under authority every pronounce of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May you speak and minister unto our lives through your word, oh Lord Almighty God. We thank you that you are faithful and that your word is alive and powerful to change our lives, to energize our lives, oh Lord Almighty God, and to bless our lives. We pray by faith and committing this time in your mighty hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we thank you and we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.
Amen. Amen. When we read the Bible, the Bible is full of the Bible is full of truth, which sometimes are contrary to common sense expectations. You hear sometimes in the Bible, the Bible will tell us that, let the poor say that I am rich. <laughs> you, know, this is, <laughs> you, know, you know, this is a statement which is contrary to a common sense expectation. You hear the Bible say that let the, you know, the humble be exalted. Let those that are sick say that I'm healed. It is very difficult, you know, to say that I'm healed when I am sick. <laughs> those are truths which are contrary to common sense expectations. It is like when you tell me that I, you know, I get to a red traffic light that it is time to go. A, tra a, a, a red traffic light indicates it is time to stop. But when I find a red traffic light that is telling me that I need to go, then that is very contrary to common sense expectations. <laughs> Amen. When you hear God tells Joshua that I don't want you to fight, just tell the people to make noise to shout and the walls of Jericho will get down. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Only it doesn't make sense, but it is true. Amen. Because the word of God is true. Amen. And the word of God is powerful. Amen. Amen. Scripture is full of those statements which sometimes don't make sense, but they are true, but they are powerful. Brethren, and yes, it is very difficult, you know, to tell a poor person that he or she is rich when he doesn't even have money to buy food to eat. Amen. Amen. It is very difficult preaching that you are blessed when stuff are going on in your life right now. Amen. Amen. It is very difficult to say that it is well with you. It is well in your life when there is things going on in your life. The truth of the matter is that your confession may be contrary to your situation. Amen. Amen. Your confession may be contrary to your situation. Amen. Amen. And this is what faith is. You know, no wonder why the Bible, amen, describes faith as a substance when the Bible says that faith is, is is the substance for the things hoped for. Amen. So faith it is more than a concept. It is more than an idea. Faith is concrete. Faith is practical. Faith has to be seen in real action. That's, what the, that's why the Bible describes faith as a substance. Amen? amen? And I wonder why the Bible, yes, amen, will have this truth. Amen? Let the poor say, I am rich. Amen? amen? Because faith is substance that even though I don't have money today, but in God I believe that I'm rich. And that is faith. Amen? amen. That is faith. Faith has to be real, practical, something tangible. 
It is beyond being an idea, being a concept. Amen. 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 And interestingly, we preach more about the front side of faith and less about the back side of faith. Amen. More we preach about the power of faith, the miracles through faith, the blessings through faith, and less about the test, less about the challenges of faith. Amen. 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 I don't need someone to preach to me how to be happy when life is going well. If life is going well, obviously, automatically, I will, I will be happy. Amen. I need someone to preach to me how to maintain happiness even when life is not going well. Amen. I need someone, amen, to help me understand how to live according to the scriptures when the scripture tells me that I am healed even when I am sick. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. There is faith. There is faith. And last week we looked at the life of Mary and, and, and what she had to endure. Amen. For the sake of her faith in God. For the sake of the, 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 the faith in God's vision and God's mission. For a life in God's plan. For a life. And many times, amen, we are often distracted from the mission of God by hurt feelings, by, 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 by frustrating conversations. Rather than us staying focused on our God-given calling, on our God-given mission. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And interestingly, brethren, no one of us is immune to life's hardships. <laughs> no one of us, there is no way they will go. There is no group you will join or a country you will go to that will exempt you from trouble. <laughs> there is no church you will join which has no challenges. No one of us is immune to life's traumas, challenges, problems, and difficulties. The truth of the matter is your life may be today going well. It doesn't mean that it will remain the same in the future. Your family may be today looking good. It doesn't mean that it will be the same in the future. Your children may be doing well today. It doesn't mean that it will be the same in the future. Thank God if it stays the same. Glory to God. Amen. And that's our prayer. Amen. This is why sometimes we need to be very watchful and careful about what we say when we see other people going through hardship and challenges of life. Because the words we say may bite us tomorrow. <laughs> Don't laugh at someone's child because they are not behaving today. Well, at least you've got children. <laughs> you need to pray that your children will continue, you know, behaving good. Amen? Doesn't mean that if your children are behaving good today, do you know they will be the same forever? Amen? Things can change. Trouble can come. We can experience difficulties in our own lives. Amen. 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 But it is interesting to see how we will face the same challenges but we will react to it differently. <laughs> you know, I've seen, I've heard about people because they got broke, they went and stole someone's money. 
<laughs> and the other, as regardless of them being broke, they say that they worship God and thank God that this is a situation, this is a season I'm going through at the moment. I believe and trust in you, Lord, that you provide my need. And they want God to steal someone's money. Amen. 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 It is interesting to see this woman that we are going to talk about. That she, oh, <laughs> that she couldn't allow, <clears throat> you know, and, and, and no one of us will choose what type of trouble you will face in your life. <laughs> Would even have been easier if, if we're given the chance to choose what type of trouble I want to experience. <laughs> Otherwise, I was going to choose something that is very easy to manage. Something that is very easy to handle. But life hits us as a surprise. You know? <laughs> I wish I had the opportunity, you know, to be given the chance to choose that, no, I don't want this. <laughs> I would rather want this one. But we don't have that opportunity. Hallelujah! This woman we are going to talk about, she did have a decision. She, you know, she couldn't choose the type of challenges she was going to face. But she could rather choose her reaction. There are things we cannot control, amen? You know, our reaction is all we can control when we are facing life's challenges. And the way we respond to challenges, amen, many of the times when we respond to challenges by seeking into, by allowing challenges, amen, leading us into a state of depression. Instead of us, amen, allowing or profiting from that time of ch the challenge, amen, to, and, 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 and allow those challenges to make us be determined. Amen. Amen. This woman who I've read about, she didn't choose the problem she was experiencing, but I thank God that she was able to choose her reaction. And her reaction, when she's crying before God, made a big difference in her life. Amen. 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 She couldn't afford to allow the feeling of rejection, amen, deter her need of receiving a miracle from Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. She couldn't allow <laughs> the, the, the attacks from people, amen. <laughs> you know, sometimes attacks from people destroy us and other people they will profit from those attacks amen hallelujah to be determined for what God has called them to do amen amen our reaction is all we can control because we cannot control these other factors whether we like it or not it is beyond our control, but you can control your reaction. You can control your response to hardship. You can control your response to the, to, 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 to the challenges you are experiencing in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are we here, church of God? Amen. 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 And this woman, the Bible says 
This woman has a demon possessed child in her house. Amen. And I want us to consider how the Bible provides the detail about her cultural background. Amen. This woman had many disadvantages. This, this woman had many limitations that could have prevented her from reaching Jesus, from accessing the miracles from God. Amen. Number one, we need to understand that this is a patriarchal society and timing. This is number one, she's a woman and she's a gentile. Amen. Hallelujah. Being a Gentile, she was not known by God. And being a woman in that society, in that culture, was another disadvantage. It is different from today, when being a woman is a plus. <laughs> Which was different from that time. Yes, in our society today, being a woman is a plus. Because women come first. I'm not trying to be misogynistic. I'm just trying to present a fact. Amen. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm against women. No, no, no. You know, women in our society today have all the rights you can mention to the detriment of men. If you are a, wo a woman today, it's a plus. You've got all the benefits. You've got all the rights. <laughs> Amen. Which, which, which was different from that time. Amen. Being a woman was a disadvantage. Being a woman, you, you know, in some situations you were not even allowed to speak or, 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 or to go to a group where men are. Being a woman, you, were, you, know, you, you know, you were supposed to be isolated for some time, sometimes, for some reasons. This woman had many disadvantages that could have prevented her from receiving a miracle from Jesus. But above all, she never allowed a man. <laughs> she couldn't afford a man to allow the feeling of rejection deter her need of receiving a miracle in her own life. Amen. 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 She couldn't even walk away from Jesus because she knew the moment she walk, she, she, walk away, she, she walks away from Jesus, she was walking away from the life of her demon-possessed daughter. She had no options. She had no options. Amen. But I want to emphasize, you know, you see, looking at how the Bible describes her situation this woman approaching Jesus in another way in another form this involved included some kind of cultural war <laughs> because the Bible this is a Canaanite woman and if and 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 in the other versions you know you know the Bible says she's a Syro Phoenician woman. Now, if, if you read history, amen, you find that this, you know, <laughs> she relates, her culture relates, goes back to the time of Jezebel. <laughs> you, you know, it's similar to the Samaritan woman when Jesus meets her in the well and Jesus is asking her for water. You know, remember the response from the Samaritan woman that we Samaritans don't mix with Jews. It's another type of a similar situation with this woman because if 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 you read history, you you will come to discover that there is some kind of ancestral war between uh, some kind of cultural war between Jesus' ancestry and this woman's ancestry, which could have made it even more difficult for this woman to make a decision to come and talk to Jesus. <laughs> It was not easy. 
Amen. Amen. It was not easy. <laughs> and the Bible even says, hallelujah, in the book of Mark, that when J Jesus entered in this region, he went and hid himself in the house. <laughs> Jesus didn't even want people to know about him when he entered in this region. Amen. Amen. Unlike us today, servants of God today, we, we, you know, we like public appearances. <laughs> we like public appearances. <laughs> it was different from Jesus. <laughs> the Bible says that he went, and the Bible is very clear in the book of Mark that he went and he in the house, and he didn't want no one to know about him. To the point that he couldn't keep his presence sacred. <laughs> this is how this woman came to know about his, about his whereabouts. As today we want to become public. We want to be on Facebook, on all types of social media. Hey, you know, again, I'm not trying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it is a bad thing. I'm not again the social media. I'm just trying to present the fact and showing a difference between Jesus' ministry and our ministries today. <laughs> People want, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people, you know, people want to present and behave as if ministries is their personal life belongings, properties, as if church is someone's property. <laughs> you know, everyone wants to go public. But Jesus, when he entered in this area, he was hiding. <laughs> I'm preaching about the hiding Jesus today. <laughs> the Bible says in Isaiah 55, 6, that seek the Lord while he may be found. Call unto him while he is near. Amen. Amen. We've got the opportunity to seek him, but we are running away from him. We've got all the opportunity to call unto him, but we are getting lazy and lazy and disrupted by the day for. Say the Lord while he is, he may be found. Amen. Call unto him while he is near. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And this woman, despite all the disadvantages, being a gentle, being a woman, be, you know, regardless of the cultural conflicts between Jesus and ancestry, Jesus uh, uh, ancestry and this woman's ancestry, but still she makes a decision to go and find the hiding Jesus. <laughs> And it wasn't still easy even after she found Jesus. The Bible says that when she go to Jesus, she cried to Jesus, Lord, heal my demon-possessed child. <laughs> and Apostle Matthew says that in the Bible that Jesus didn't even answer her a word. Whew. In our time today, we're going to be classified that, oh, he's very rude. <laughs> he's a rude pastor. <laughs> he's a rude church elder. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> he, he's a rude pastor's wife. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible says that this woman is crying on Jesus and Jesus kept quiet not even answering her. <laughs> oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> oh, Jesus keeps quiet. But I like, the, you, you, you know, Sometimes, sometimes, 
You know, sometimes you can choose to, to make your life bitter instead of making it better. <laughs> and the Bible says, and it's interesting, this is why the Bible, you know, even when Jesus is hiding, you know, this woman found him. You know, brethren, when if we sincerely seek the Lord, we will truly find him. If we sincerely seek the Lord, we will truly find him. If we genuinely with our hearts seek the Lord, we will find him. I wonder if Jesus is hiding when he enters in this region <laughs> yes, of course, I know. His grace, his love is extended to all people. But I'm wondering if he was hiding when he entered in this region because he didn't want to perform miracles in a region where... I don't know. <laughs> In a region where he wasn't sent to, I don't know. But I understand that his love extends to all people, regardless of, of, of their cultural backgrounds. But I'm wondering, why is Jesus hiding? Why is Jesus hiding? Now, the Bible says, when this woman keeps crying unto Jesus, even Jesus' disciples are telling Jesus that, Please tell this woman to keep quiet. <laughs> She's annoying us. She's annoying us. And when she couldn't keep quiet, the Bible says that Jesus says to the woman, woman, it's not appropriate to give the children's bread to the little dogs. Oh, this sounds like a mean sound. But I thank God, this is why I say that, we, we, you, you, you know, I, I, I cannot predict what you are going to do to me tomorrow. I cannot predict what you are going to say about me tomorrow. But I can control my reaction towards whatever you want to do against me. I can choose to respond in this way to this situation, positively or negatively. Then there are other situations which are beyond my control. Amen. This woman did not try the insults with Jesus. Instead, she responds with humility. After, despite Jesus calling her a dog, this woman chooses to respond with humility. Brethren, if you can get down, you can get up one day. The Bible says that God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Amen. <laughs> can I go deep? Sometimes your behavior, your attitude is your enemy. <laughs> Sometimes your, your anger, your pride is your enemy. <laughs> Sometimes your character is your enemy. You present as if you are on top of everyone in this world. You present as if you are the best in the world. Who, who said to you you are the best? Who said you are the best social worker? Who said you are the best nurse? Who said you are the best doctor? Who said you are not the best? <laughs> who said you are the best preacher? Who said you are the best prophet? The Bible says that whatever we do, we do it in part. Who says that I, I, I am the best pastor? I, I only receive the little. <laughs> you know, the more <laughs> God have mercy on us. Sometimes our attitudes, our behaviors, 
are our enemy. <laughs> this woman, <laughs> she, 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 she couldn't allow. Yes, I'm gonna call it an insult. <laughs> she couldn't allow her being called a dog detail a need of a miracle. Because if it was yours, you know, what kind of a pastor is he now? And you, you, you know, what does he think he is? If it was you, if, if, if it was me, I, I could have missed my miracle. You know, <laughs> even when, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Even when your pastor shouts at you, you're not trying to, you're not to correct you, 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 see, you will leave the church. <laughs> it's just a, a small point of correction from your pastor. You say, you leave the church. I'm, 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 I'm gonna leave that point. Amen. I don't want to offend you. Amen. You, are, you know, you've had some people that have left that church because the pastor looks like a rude person. You, you, the, I, I need to remind you again. No one of us comes here for another person. We come to this place for God. Amen. Please ignore my attitude. Ignore my behaviors. My behaviors aren't going to be perfect. Ignore it. We come here to this place for God and for God alone. Amen. For Jesus and for Jesus alone. Amen. Don't mind me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If, 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 if it is a pastor, if the church elder or the choir singer, whosoever they are, you don't come here for them. You come here for Jesus. Church is our spiritual hospital. We come here to seek healing from God. Amen. 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 We still have some spiritual diseases that need healing from Jesus. Amen. 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 We still need a touch from the Holy Spirit Amen. in this place. Amen. I understand you can be a pastor for 100 years, but you still have some weaknesses that need a touch from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Stop intimidating me with your experience, whatever. I don't care about it. Amen. In fact, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm stepping on some toes this morning. <laughs> I'm preaching like an evangelist today. Oh, Spirit of God, help me. Help me to stay within the pastoral anointing. Hallelujah! <laughs> this woman did not engage in extending and in exchanging insults with Jesus. What do you think you are? Is it because you are a Jew? That's why you can insult me? <laughs> that it, it, it is not a you, you know you, you know putting this story in the context the reason why Jesus calls this woman a dog is and the Bible is very clear because Jesus came that's what the Bible says that Jesus came for the lost sheep of Israel amen Amen. Amen. And this woman who is not a Jewish woman, amen, it's like Jesus is telling her, woman, you've got no right. You are not qualified for what you are asking. Amen. This is only for the children of Israel. This is why Jesus tells her that it is not appropriate to give the children's bread to the little dogs. Gosh, not even a dog, a little dog. <laughs> a little dog. A little dog. But this woman uses the, 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 the 
the saying of Jesus as in the illustration to get what she's looking for. She says, Lord, <laughs> she says, Lord, you know, you know, you know, attacks can, you can, you can respond to attacks in a way that attacks will destroy your life or responding to attacks in a way that attacks will even make you stronger and putting you in the state of you being determined to access God's promises upon your life. Amen. 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 Now this woman says, Lord, Yes, Lord. <laughs> Even the little dogs, in other ways, the good. Yes, I am a dog, but you know, being a dog, there are benefits of being a dog. <laughs> being a dog, I've got nothing to lose. Number one. And being a dog, yes, you've said it well. I'm not entitled to eat on the table. I don't know, maybe in this society here, you know, in other societies, a dog doesn't eat from the table. <laughs> Which I'm imagining in that, in that society, at that point in time, you couldn't find a dog sitting on the chair and eating on the table from the table, no. <laughs> but this woman says, yes, there are benefits of being a dog. And she says to Jesus that, Lord, I know that even dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the table. Amen? 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 You know, brethren, the sun that melts wax is the same sun that hardens the clay. <laughs> the sun that melts wax it is the same sun that can harden clay you've got to choose here amen amen amen, amen. amen. this woman as I said earlier didn't choose whatever she was experiencing but she was able to choose her reaction her response to a life's challenge. Amen. 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 And she says that I know even the little dogs can eat the crumbs that fall down from the table. Oh, I'm not asking you, Lord, for your children's bread. I am asking for the crumbs. Hallelujah. I am asking for the crumbs. Go busy on the table with your children, but allow me to eat the crumbs. <laughs> allow me to eat the crumbs. Because sometimes, even, I don't know, even your children, sometimes you give them bread, but they don't want to eat it, Lord. But I can eat from the leftovers from your children. Lord, sometimes you present food to your children, but they refuse to eat it. <laughs> Some of us who have a little kids, see, sometimes you struggle, you know, sometimes you need to fight for them to eat food. <laughs> you know, you, you present food to them, but they don't want to eat. They don't want to eat, but they don't want to eat. It's like this woman is saying, Look, even your children sometimes are distracted. They don't want to eat. But allow me to eat. Allow me to eat the crumbs. Amen. Some people are used to the anointing of God that they come to church and don't even 
get anything from God because they are used to the anointing of God. They are used to church. Some people even have got so many opinions that they've lost hungry for you know, you know that they've lost the hunger for God. That they've lost hunger for God and they can't learn from the word of God to get their lives changed. Because they are used to the anointing of God. Amen. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Regardless of Jesus calling her a dog, she remains undeterred from her need to see the deliverance of her child. In fact, she gives Jesus what I would call a red card. <laughs> she gives Jesus what I'm calling a red card. She falls at the feet of Jesus and worships him. Oh, hallelujah! God will never resist worship. Remember, he created humanity for the purpose of worshiping him. And this woman worships the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, at the very hour, her child at home was delivered from the demon. And she was healed. At the very same hour, her child was healed. Her child was healed. Amen. Despite the many disadvantages, despite the many challenges, despite the many limitations, despite the response, the negative response from the Lord, this woman could not afford, could not allow herself to be deterred from her need to see the deliverance of her child. Amen. What is deterring you from seeking the presence of God? She wasn't. She couldn't be deterred from her need to see a breakthrough in her life. She chose the right attitude. She chose the right character. She teaches us how to be humble. Amen. Hallelujah. She teaches us how to be humble. Humble to learn. Humble to, to Amen. Humble to learn. Humble to be led. Humble in every situation. Amen. Because you don't have it all. We all have in parts. We all know in parts. We are all doing it in parts. Only the Holy Spirit has it in full. Amen. 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 Similar to how we spoke about Mary last Sunday. Same with this woman. Demonstrating a character, a spirit of tenacity. Amen. Standing for what she believed she needed from God. Don't allow your attitude, amen, prevent you from receiving, from accessing your miracle from God. Hallelujah. If you need to humble yourself before God, humble yourself before God. And he will lift you in due time. Amen. Amen. She teaches us about persistent faith. She teaches us about persistent prayer. She teaches us about the power of prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. She teaches us how to 
Amen. Learn from a negative situation and turn it into a positive one for the betterment of ourselves. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. She negotiated with Jesus the deliverance of her child. Amen. Symbolizing persistent prayer. Are you tired in your prayer? Are you tired in your faith? Hallelujah. Even the little dogs can eat the crumbs. I don't deserve it. Amen. But I know your grace is sufficient. Amen. And it is all by grace, brethren. Amen. That we are who we are. We have what we have. We are doing what we are doing. It is by God's grace. No one of us deserved it. No one deserved to be saved if it is not by his grace. No one deserved to be called a child of God, a servant of God, if it is not by grace. What is happening in your life right now? Hallelujah. I know we've got the Holy Communion. Amen. I'm going to end here. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Don't be deterred by any situation from your need to see a breakthrough through in your life from God. Amen. Amen. If you remain consistent, tenacious, the Lord will intervene in your life situation. God bless you. Amen. Amen.